Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to KSNT News here on your Wednesday morning. The Willard Bridge, which is a main artery between I-70 and Highway 24, will now be closing in just a few hours. Crews will work through the summer months to rebuild the aging roadway. KSNT News reporter James Ryan is live in our studio this morning with more on why this is happening and what this means for drivers here in Shawnee County. Good morning, James Ryan. Good morning, Brittany. Willard Bridge is nearly 70 years old, and although it's used every day by drivers in the area, it hasn't had any major reconstruction in decades. Now, this is Willard Bridge. It's on Northwest Carlson Road in Shawnee County and connects the towns of Rossville and Willard. The bridge was built in the 1950s and modified again in the 80s, and the county says it's slowly been deteriorating ever since. It's a project the county has been looking at for nearly a decade. Back in 2009, um, we knew we knew this bridge was a major uh, capital improvement that was going to have to be addressed at some point. We didn't know at all where we get the money from. It's an over 18 million dollar project. The county says the bridge's integrity took a turn for the worse in recent years, which really brought the project to the forefront. Now, what does this mean for drivers? Those wanting to access Interstate 70 in Rossville and Highway 24 in Willard have to drive east to 75 to cross the Kansas River, which will mean about a 30-minute delay to your morning commute. Live in the studio, James Ryan, KSNT News. Yikes, 30 minutes. Thank you, James, for that update. The bridge will officially close this morning at 9 o'clock. And if all does go according to plan, the county does plan to have the bridge rebuilt and back open for drivers by September 9th.